Hey class, this is Chandria Campos and today I am going to do a presentation on my research paper titled Gender Roles and Class Divisions in Chinese Art, the Rendering and Reinforcement of an Ideology. The goal of my paper was to compare the restrictions placed on artists during the Cultural Revolution with the liberties taken by those whose work was done during the Qing Dynasty and within the PRC. Two examples are in the slide. Um, to the left is a portrait of consort Qinhu, Chunhu, still getting a pronunciation right. Um, and this was done by Giuseppe Castiglione. He was a uh, an artist that was not originally from China, but his work, um, the Western style that he incorporated would shape and inspire a lot of the court paintings done for the duration of the Qing Dynasty. To the right is a contemporary self-portrait done by Yu Minjun, and the title is Tattooer Soldier. And if you look at it from far away, like I did, it pays homage to the work done during the Cultural Revolution. You see the red, you, you see the, the uh, headgear worn by the uh, red youth or the soldiers. And he incorporated some fun things in the background too. I'm still figuring out what's going on there. But uh, these are two examples from the, one from the Qing Dynasty and one from um, present day China. In case you guys forgot, I provided two examples of artwork done during the Cultural Revolution. One is on the left, it's a woodblock print by Fu Zigui, uh, Hopefully our catchers can give us the proper pronunciation of his name. I, I don't want to butcher it with and discredit his beautiful work, but it's called Celebrate the Establishment of the Red Guards, Congress of Colleges and Universities in the Capitol. This piece embodies the central focus of my research. In it, you'll see examples of um, structural social hierarchy, even though there was supposed to be nothing like this at this time. You'll see the masses at the bottom, they're very small. You have the red youth or the cadre in the second tier, the three figures there. You have a woman to the left and she's in the same position as the two men. And then at the top you have Chairman Mao. This was one of my favorite images to uh, to go over because it, it really made my research really, really easy. To the right you have the youth panels created by Zhang Sungnan in 1972. And again, even though we don't have the red, we do have a lot of the elements seen in the work of the Cultural Re Revolution. Um, very propagandic. You see uh, the, the women, the female red youth, shouting and giving inspiration in the first and the third panels. You see one, uh, a woman in the second panel and she's kind of advocating for what's going on. Um, these are really, you know, kind of what was going on as far as visual art goes at this time. So these are tidbits from my research. These are the more interesting discoveries that were made. So during the Qing Dynasty, there was a really big fascination with Western art techniques. Um, Giuseppe Castiglione was actually not from China. He was an artist that came to China to study and a lot of the things that he did inspired the work of court painters. Um, I didn't know that um, the techniques used in Western art were as popular as they were during his time frame. The second point is that there was a gradual change in ways to create artwork seen during the, um, the Cultural Revolution. So in my mind, Chairman Mao woke up one day, gave a speech, and everyone was like, oh my God, we gotta go back, we gotta fix this art. This was not the case. It wasn't an immediate change. This was literally done in, in sections, basically. You would have people say, oh my God, you can do whatever you want, but you gotta add a red book here put it in this person's hand, or you gotta have some red in the picture, you gotta put a flag there. And then it eventually became these very restricting rules that it went outside of visual art. It was, it was going into visual art, it was going into literature, film. These, I think it was really interesting how he set this up. Um, and the reasons behind the lack of female visual artists within this time frame. So something I discovered, and it was really disappointing, was that Female artists, at least female visual artists, were very underrepresented throughout Chinese history. And one of the reasons why, specifically in the 1930s, was because they were taking Western techniques, which it goes back to the Qing Dynasty. It's like, oh my God, you went from accepting these techniques to completely just disallowing them. But a lot of female artists chose to go abroad where they could practice freely. And so their work isn't attributed to the work of China, it's attributed to the work of other countries. 
and it's really upsetting. Um, let's see. I also realized that history is really, really, really determined by the victor. So that quote that uh, history is written by the victor is very true. And looking at the art throughout my research, I got really disappointed to find that they didn't represent what was being put into written history. If you look at the, the images in the Cultural Revolution, you don't see female red guards, you know, questioning um, their role in this. You don't see um, men being brut um, art artists or or disloyal people being beaten severely. But when you look at the memoirs that we've read, you see pretty, you get a full picture of what was going on. So one of the things that I discovered was that, yes, I could get a, an, an idea of the ideology that was in play here. But as far as getting the true essence of what was going on, visual art fell very short in that aspect. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get to the questions portion of the conclusion because I don't know how long your attention spans are. So um, this concludes my presentation. If you guys have any questions or comments, I I'm not there to address them in person, but feel free to use the link in D2L. It's uh, the class list and you can communicate with me through there, or you can do it directly by emailing me at ccampos at augusta.edu. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are enjoying the food and it was wonderful working with all of you.